Alright guys, sorry we're a couple <coughs> minutes late. We got uh It's not our fault in final it's round, I believe. It, it's Eric it's slash yeah, round? Yeah. Okay. Four. Yeah, it's not our fault. It's Eric and his stupid battle droid deck going to time every round. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh well not that second that se the second round was really fast. Yeah. They they got set up pretty quick, but Oh man. Looks like we're gonna see uh Ryan and his uh, Boba Phasma versus Lawton and his Callus. No, it's going to be uh, Clint. Clint. Clint and Django uh, Phasma. Django Phasma. But, Against uh, Callus Talzin. Lawton, Lott so, is running uh, Callus with Mother Talzin. Mm hmm. I have not actually played a game with uh, Mother Talzin yet, but she seems really good. <laughs> have you? No, not yet. I mean, at first I wasn't excited about her ability, but I mean, that could be free damage, you know. And her die sides aren't... Well, it's just like a free focus, especially yeah. if you just build your deck to do it. Yeah. And it makes witch... Like, if, if you build your deck with all... Odd. Odds, you know, it, tur makes, it turns witch magic into, uh, you know, three health for one. Right. And, uh... What else? What other odd stuff is there? There's the spell of removal makes it so you can always remove a die with that. And Clint's running Django Phasma. <laughs> Old school. Yeah. Uh, I don't think he's even added a single Legacies card to his no, deck. No, he said uh, he hadn't had time to do his... I think he's done some with his son's deck. Mm -hmm. uh, but he hadn't had time yet to um, mess with his deck and Legacies. So. But I played against him yesterday, and I'm telling you, man, 5 die ability, it gave it fits. It was a super close game. Um... Uh, but Django just is so quick, man. Yeah, I mean, I talked about it earlier. That's That was, like, one of my losses on day one was to a Django deck because he just activated, rolled four damage, can't remove it, can't do anything about it. Talibush says, which magic makes it all worth it? Yeah. Um, I was uh, given a lot of grief. He was running a Talzin to... Uh, Veteran Troopers mm -hmm. for our, the Trilogies event, and uh, he didn't have, he was sh sharing his list and he didn't have logistics in there, or Doubt, and I told him he was crazy, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> he ended up putting, slotting Doubt in, I don't think he put logistics, I think he stuck with uh, Mobilize, mm -hmm. so with Doubt being the only zero cost cards, you know, he was consistently either turning Veteran Stormtroopers to three indirect, or... Uh, one game against me, the game he played against me, he got an auto cannon on Tows and was able to flip it to a four side. That seems pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Auto cannon just seems ridiculous in that deck. Uh, the Tows and two veteran troopers. Yeah. I mean, it seems ridiculous in any deck. When <laughs> it is pretty good. Is it four or five damage sides? Four. It's got a, a three, yeah. a four, well, a three, a plus four, a three, and a plus four. Yeah. So I've seen this, I've seen the Callus Talzin deck played by some of the double blanks guys, and it looks pretty fun. I haven't played it myself yet. So, not sure who won the roll off. Yeah, I think Lawton won it. He's going to take shields. And Clint's battlefield is Frozen Waste, so. <clears throat> yeah. I don't know about that. Um, You know, Clint likes Frozen Waste. <laughs> I mean, Clint's going to be really fast. Yeah. Oh, you're talking about his choice of battlefields? Uh, yeah. About Lawton choosing yeah. and, Clint's? And the I mean, the two health swing is good, but. But the character die, he gets more value out of his character die if he gets to keep them. You know. I guess I guess Lon is just thinking that he's gonna resolve like his best character dice, and then Clint's gonna just either remove like a blank or a one, yeah. and it's not gonna be worth it that much, which is valid. What is that offensive shirt that uh, 
Lawton is wearing. I have no idea. <laughs> it says war on women. <laughs> So, a force illusion off the bat for Lawton, showing who he wants to protect. Interesting. I guess he wants to bait Clint into going for Callus. Yeah. Because his deck is mostly uh, mostly blue. I know he's running a holocron package as well as weapons. So, his, I guess he's thinking that if he loses Talzin... Oh, wow. And Django just Jesus, man. <laughs> <laughs> Django do Django things, man. Oh. Clint but anyways, I guess what I was saying first. about uh, <laughs> Lawton has like a holocron package, but if he doesn't see holocron and he has to force cast those things, mm -hmm. he wants Towson to be alive. Right. I think Clint's just asking for clarification on Towson's ability. Well, hopefully he draws into witch magic next time. <laughs> He's gonna need it. Like that was probably the best thing Clint could hope for from his Django activation. I mean it, it wasn't even definitely. it wasn't even like big damage sides, it was just all of his dice. One, yeah. one, one, two, two. Yeah. No rerolls. And so he wait and see. So he's gonna overwrite force illusion. <laughs> I and guess he decided and he's, he he's using it, using his overwrite token. To yeah, he's got a show uh, that he can't do that again. This he's round. got a, a power action token also, doesn't he? Uh, I don't think so. I think he's just got that one. They are pretty cool though. Yeah, definitely. Stops any. Lawton gonna callous power action to the two. Clint probably just claims. And you might as well. It. You're not gonna get like, any better side from it. Talzin. So, what does he? He might have doubt in his hand, but I I think this early on when he's already done six damage, I think I just claim and let him do his mother shenanigans and whatever because it's not gonna hit the uh, force push die anyway. I guess he's passing. Yeah, you're not going to get better than two out of that. So I think you just claim there. Yeah. <clears throat> Unless he's got something else he just really wants to do. I don't know what it could be without any... Yeah, see, so that's a wasted... It will all be mine. Interesting. That is an expensive card. So now you <clears throat> claim... Yeah. So <clears throat> it accomplishes the same thing. Right. So, who would you take in a fight? Would you take Mother Talzin with Force Push or Django with the Holdout Blaster? Man. Assuming they're able to take down each other's <coughs> red characters this turn. I think, I, I think I'd take Django um, just because Force Push's special is blanked right now. But with or Essentially, with your Django activation, you get to resolve your die. Well, if you rolled well. Yeah, if you rolled well. But... I don't know. I think I take Django. So Clint <clears throat> paid one for dug in. Yep. Really good card for his deck. And does Lawton have intimidates in his? I don't know. And Callus is not rolling very good here. All right. So there's a pretty decent whiff for Django. Luckily for Lawton. Let's see what he wants to do here. Probably just rolling, yeah, rolling Phasma. <laughs> More damage. I mean, it's shocking, but it's not shocking. I mean, that's the their their dice, you know. Like I said, Phasma. I mean, we saw the Boba uh, Phasma yeah. earlier. It, it was just did like eight damage every single turn. Yeah, or more. So buy a phasma die. Oh man, he got the two range though. So I mean, he saved himself one damage for one resource without overconfidence. Well, possibly more. Cause yeah, it could have been more, but well, 
with Clint just resolving. I, I mean, knowing Clint's play style, I figured he would just resolve what he had. So. So. Yeah, no. yeah, and I mean, like, his play style just fits with this deck because yeah. he just he wants to resolve his dice, claim the battlefield. Yep. Pretty much. He doesn't want to sp spend time re-rolling. Just take what you get, move on. So, fairly certain Lawton's going to hit odd every time. <laughs> so he flips Kallus to the three. Clint can best defense here on Phasma Shields. That's what he's going to do. Get rid of the three and the two. Yeah, nice try, and, Lawton. <laughs> yep. Lawton tried to <laughs> sneak that other one, one melee off the board. And if Lawton power actions Callus to the two. Clint probably just claims. Nope. Uh, Lawton can't do that. You just resolved melee and range. Lawton, that was melee and range in the same action, bro. <laughs> it's the shirt. <laughs> this guy... <laughs> this guy here, he won. Uh, he's the only person in Houston to win two store championships. <laughs> I have no room to judge. <laughs> Let's put it that way. <laughs> so now Clint's probably just going to claim, remove the callus die. And it's not looking good for him. <clears throat> no holocron is rough. Yeah. Dead. And a Django activation probably kills Callus yeah. next turn. If he rolls anywhere half decent. Yeah, Lawton probably has to pitch his whole hand looking for uh, witch magic. He's going to take the resource. Uh, I don't know if I agree with that. I think saving two damage is probably better. Alright, so he's not doing that yet. He's thinking through. Maybe he wants to kill Callus this yeah, turn. Yeah, maybe he's just going for the reroll, maybe. No. Yeah, I don't know. I think I claimed there. Oh, wow. Resource and two damage. Seems pretty good. <laughs> and now Lawton has time to resolve his dice, and he can still play mitigation because Clint has to take the time to resolve the resource. Oh, he's holding it down in his hand? Yeah. So now he's going to take it. So, he's going to doubt it. Plus two. And now Clint can claim. Remove the Talzin die. So, Clint got nothing out of it. I mean, he got a resource out of that reroll. Yeah. Which he was already showing a resource in the first place. And he took three damage, or just two being, damage. He's just being very aggressive, though. He wants to... Yeah, I mean that can bring you that can roll you into a lot of. That's true, and I mean you know, with decks like R two P two, like you can see that if if you don't kill a character one turn, you know within a few actions, they can be back to like half health, right? You know, or full health even. Right. But just being that aggressive can it can run you into place better place for your opponent, like we just saw, you know. Uh, Lawton got to resolve his dice and mitigate on Clint's side. So, uh. just Phasma finally doesn't hit damage. Tactical mastery. So activate Django in response. Oh, Clint. Yeah, yeah, there you go, buddy. <laughs> and there's Callus dead. And then something. Oh my gosh. Was that five? Yep. No, four. No, it was five. Yep, both two range loads. Wait, wasn't that a Django activation? Well, he played Tactical Mastery. He played Tactical Mastery on his first oh, turn. He activated Callus. He activated yeah. Django in response. So Lawton yeah. still had another action. And it worked out for him. Yeah, when Django Veers was a thing, 
uh, I was playing uh, Po Ray. I played Po Ray for most of the Awakenings mm -hmm. meta, and uh, anytime I played against Django, you know, I, I would have to use my action cheats to get around his ability so I could remove his dice. Right. Because, I mean, I've got blowout removal. I would have blowout, blowout removal in the forms of, like, force misdirection and um, defensive position. Uh, but I would always have to, you know, either hit and run or... Uh, hold out blaster onto Ray in order to to get those off. So Clint's going through his options, figuring out he's just gonna focus. Put the pressure on Lawton. He's gonna isolate. Uh now do you reroll? Uh, I think so. You just need a if you hit a special on Phasma, Callus is dead. If you hit a two on Either of those dice, yeah. he's dead. There's one. You got one. I'm, I'm going to reroll that Phasma die if I'm Clint. Yeah. I'm not going to accept the one out of it this turn. Because you have one in three chance to get the two damage or more. The, the two are the, the special, so yeah. You already have the base uh, melee, or the base range right. on the holdout blaster if you end up hitting the modified on the other one. So it's gonna be a roll off here. Oh no, I forgot about the Talzin. So you can probably he'd probably go to force push special. Um, or he could go to two damage and uh, just trade blows to kill Phasma. I don't know. Which I that's, think that's I go what to he's going for. Um, because Clint has it depends on how many cards Clint has in his hand. If Clint only has one reroll, I think I go to force push special. I think he's got two. Yeah, three cards. Okay. Um, if he doesn't have a lot of reroll options, I think he'd go to force push to blanket Callus and live another round, and you can just reroll on your side to try right. to get damage out of Callus. Well, not in this situation, Lon puts the pressure on Clint that he has to resolve that Phasma die. Right, and I, I think I think you just I think you just do the one on the Phasma. Yeah, you reroll the holdout if you get the plus two. Then yeah, I think you need to keep that that base one. So this game swung. That was pretty fast, swing. and I think yeah. it was due to Clint, you know, not claiming early enough last round, and destiny problems. Yep. <laughs> oh. He got the one he needs. <laughs> so lucky. So Lon's just gonna take the money. I wonder if he's running rise again. Uh, I mean, it's an odd cost card. I mean. So it comes down to our <laughs> your question at the beginning of the game. If you take Mother or Django. <laughs> right. Well, now Django is dual wielding. Yeah, but I think, I don't know, Mother has access to healing. and If he can... Yeah, but if he's only doing that each turn, just one, one, two, I don't know. And now it gets down to where, I don't know, I think Lawton, you know, depending on what you're doing, Lawton can... Uh, I mean, you can basically string it out to where basically Clint just activates Django on his own. You know, if you have a bunch of little things. Like to it, do. Oh, yeah. Like if Clint doesn't draw into his backup muscles, right. he can't stall long enough. Right. <coughs> so, bait and switch on Clint's side, that could come up big. So, jetpack. So, he stalls once. That jetpack can come up big to you. <laughs> jetpack. If you're Lawton, are you just content passing? Um, Forcing Clint to roll? I don't know. Depending on what kind of mitigation and how much. Thank you, Mr. Carrier. Appreciate the follow, bud. Like, do, uh, you, do you pass here and let... Oh, it looks like he did. Oh. Uh, yeah, but I don't know. It, it, it To me, it comes down to what, how much and what kind of mitigation you have in your hand. Right. Um... You know, if you have a doubt where, you know, you, I, I don't know. I think if you have, you can remove multiple dice, yeah. Um, just being able to remove one die, though, I don't know if it's coming up in your benefit. All right, so Clint's just going to roll. 
Man, oh man. Not so Salvage stands a resource, and then he gets three damage and two shields. No, he gets two damage. He's got a. Oh, I didn't see the other one. holdout. I yeah. didn't see the other holdout. Jango Phasma is still good. Yeah. So now if you're Lawton, I mean, do you mitigate the one base side or do you wait for a reroll? Or, I mean, are you okay taking just three and waiting to see what he rerolls into? Or I couldn't tell what was in his hand. I know he had a... And, and plus, you have to be expecting... He hasn't seen bait and switch yet. That's true. So he has to be expecting a bait and switch at some point. I know he gets that force push special, but I think bait and switch is going to... So he's going to look at Clint's deck and try to turn something. I don't think he hit Odd. Oh, so he used the Crystal Ball to look at Clint's. Right, before he uses his mother's ability. Right. And then he can mother his own deck. And he, he showed a Canto Bite Pistol. So... At least one other player here thinks it's a decent <laughs> card. I think Clint has the bait and switch, didn't he? Yeah, he's holding it in his hand. Then I, I think you just throw it out here. I don't know. He's gonna play. He played oh, that new yellow take, ambush. Take flight, oh yeah. my god, that could have hurt. Reroll two dice and has ambush. That could have hurt if he rolls into any damage. And I can't tell. Uh, oh, he got, he got the one, melee. But that's not going to do me good. Yeah, I don't know. I think I keep the two shields. I would have rerolled the other Django die. So now he's going to bait. Oh, switch. that's why. Yeah. Man, that could have come up big if that jetpack hit the plus three. That would have been huge. If you're Clint, do you push... Uh, or, I mean, if you're Lawton, do you push those to blanks? Um, Cause, I, mean, I that think two so, because be it's a three damage swing. I mean, you save yourself. It's basically healing one and removing two shields for free with one die. I mean, I think you do. Or maybe see what Clint does if Clint tries to get the rerolls. I don't know. I don't think Clint should reroll, but. And I think if I'm Clint, I think I take the two shields first. No, you do the one because then Lawton can claim and remove oh, the right, right, character die. Right. I don't know. I still think I'd rather have the two shields if that's what's going to happen. I don't know. But I'm a bad player also, so, I mean... <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, you're probably right because of the... I think I'd rather have the two shields yeah, yeah, and leave he, anything else. Right, right. Because if you don't resolve the two shields, then Lawton's going to force push yeah. it to a blank. So here comes Witch Magic. We already know he's going to heal at least one. Two. Three. Oh, oh hit the holocrons. Only two. That's all right. But And does he get to stack his deck, or do they go back in the same They order? go back in the same order. Okay. It's just reveal. Yeah. But you know he has he knows he has a holocron coming. I don't know if at this point in the game if it's you want to see it, but um, he's holding force throw in his hand. It looks like. Same thing. He's got two focus eyes on that crystal ball. So. Yeah, that was a really unlucky roll. And the two damage sides on force push. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's pretty much over here. Django's just got oh, the same man. thing. Well, what are the odds of that? Three turns? Three? I don't know. He has one in three chance of hitting damage on both of those dice. Or focus and right. into damage. But I mean, he's got the same odds of hitting special and yeah. blank. So. There it is. Oh, wow. Finally got the focus. I guess Clint's been passing this whole time? Uh, I hope not. Yeah, I think he claimed. He just didn't have a target for his, okay. for his claim. 
I don't know, a lot in pause there, like Clint was thinking. I guess Lawton was deciding if he'd rather have two damage or resource, maybe? This game's gone quite a bit longer than I expected it to. Yeah. With how much damage was dealt turn one on both sides. I don't know, Lawton strung out Callus for pretty well there for two or three three rounds, was it? two rounds at least. Being that close to death. Yeah, the, the tactical mastery into doubt was pretty, pretty clutch for him. Hopefully, Clint's got his backup muscles by now, so he can keep stalling. Yeah. His Django activation. Yeah, he's got a dug in. It looks like both of them. He's got in his hand. Oh really? Yeah. It looks like he drew both backup muscles. Yeah, Lawton's in a really bad spot. Especially if Clint drops the other. He needs to get... <laughs> he needs to get, like... He needs a Holocron of Force Lightning and just... I don't know. He's got to hit big. I mean... I don't know. It's the, the, the chances of him coming back are really slim. I mean, Clint could just hit six damage here. Yeah. Which he... he three? Hit one. Well, one. <laughs> yeah. Modified. Hmm. But he does salvage standard resource, if he remembers. So, using Crystal Ball to look at Clint's. If Clint has a bait and switch, then it's over. <laughs> and that two shield on the jetpack again. So as soon as Lawton gets done chewing through the three from Duggan, he's just going to get two more. So Lawton's trying to figure out which die of his he wants to roll. <laughs> and if you're Lawton, you almost have to be playing around bait and switch whether or not you think he has it or not. Especially with Clint still having a resource, I mean that's yeah. Four. It's one of the, yeah. It's one of those cards when you're playing yellow villain. You always got to be worried about it. I don't think he has it. Otherwise, he would have done it by right. now. Right. It would. I, there should have been hesitation. I don't know what Clint's thinking about. Probably deciding which dice to reroll. I think you have time to just resolve whatever you have. If you're on, if I'm Clint, like just back up muscle here and mm -hmm. see what Lawton decides to do. Right. Especially with the two shields showing on jetpack. He doesn't want it. Roll. Doesn't want the melee either. Well, he, he, he wants, wants the, yeah, he wants range damage to. Really oh my <laughs> gosh. <coughs> what is that? Two, four, Eight, six, nine. Two, no, two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, that's uh, plus spell three. Of removal. So we already know it actually discards the card. So if Lon puts that back on top, we need to. Oh, okay, he discards it. But you discard oh, the top card of the deck, big. and if it's odd, you can remove the die. That comes up pretty big too. So, <laughs> I think with the plus three on the holdout blaster now, you reroll. You mean on or the, the jetpack? You, you reroll both, both holdout out blasters. Because yeah. you only need five here because you got the backup muscle still but doesn't want it wants to kill and gets it it's game yep Django Phasma getting it done yeah no legacy cards well he played the one that lets him re-roll the two dies and ambush that yellow take flight oh yeah take yeah. I think it's take flight is that what it is I think so Trouble finding it. No, hang on, hang on. 
Because yeah, here it, it is. is. Yeah, yeah, let's take flight. Really yeah. good card for zero cost, man. Man, I'll tell you what though, <laughs> I'm having a bit of a storage problem with this game now. You're not. You're telling me, bro. <laughs> like, um, how about the rest of you guys? It like, is... I've I've I got one of those pirate pirate lab uh, cases or whatever. No. Uh -huh. And uh, it's I can't fit any legacies in it because it's completely full from Awakening Spirit and Empire War. I'm I've been using the uh, the three row. They're like three thousand count card boxes. Yeah. And so that'll fit. Boxes. That'll fit in each row. It'll fit a complete set of. It'll it'll fit a, a play set of each set mm -hmm. with all the dice behind it. Right. So. I have five sets, and my sixth row is taken up by trade dice and the two player starters, the, the starter decks. Mm -hmm. And so, it like, it's getting to the point now, though. I mean, it'll help if one stuff starts rotating. Right. But, like, I used to take everything with me everywhere. Yeah, same. So, you know, if I could trade or, yeah, I got that. And I used to be able here. to fit it all in my backpack. <laughs> yeah. Um, and now I need, like, two backpacks and. Uh, now I bring duffel bag <laughs> now now i bring my you know two three decks yeah. and i bring a uh, some trades from like the newest set i'll sometimes bring uh like <clears throat> my binders i'll bring my decks but i won't bring my dice and i'll just bring my binders if i want to switch out non, right non die cards right like like play around with the events or something yeah this the store is de definitely becoming a problem harley saying plano tackle bag can hold uh, four to five crates full with two binders. Yeah, uh, I need a new binder too. I'm gonna have to do that today because uh, I don't have enough space in my other binders. Right. It's almost to the point now where you're just gonna have a binder full of uh, power cards. I guess you would say the stuff you're gonna you know is good. You know, in each color. Yeah, like, I think I really just need to go through and cull my entire collection and throw away every garbage card I'm never gonna play. Right. You know. But, but then, know. but then, how do you know that it's not gonna roll around? And that's true. That's the thing. There's like, gonna be some like crate dragon how that was actually played in a deck not too long ago, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, was it that hero mill? I think Matt was playing. Yeah, the Riken mill. Yeah, I I would I used to tell people that crate dragon how like that's like a bookmarker when you get that card, yeah. you know. But um, so you just I mean you just don't know. Uh, but it's definitely becoming a problem. So yeah. All right, I think that's going to do it for us today, guys. Uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, thanks to everybody who watched, man. A lot of people watching today. It was awesome. Yeah, I really appreciate it. Uh, tell you all's friends. They, so we do this first and third Sundays every single month, and uh, it's going to get a lot more fun uh, now that football season is winding down. Uh, I imagine more people will have time to, to watch on Sunday afternoons. Right, and more, uh, or more people to come out and play. Yeah, here. more more people are probably going to be able to come out and play, and uh, yeah, this just keeps growing. Every single it seems like every single week it just gets like a little bit, yes, yeah, a little bit better. It's pretty awesome. Um, and uh, yeah, throw us any any critiques. Uh, these videos or the match videos usually get posted on YouTube within a few days. Um, I think uh, Josh, the guy that that does those, uh, he's been on vacation recently, so uh, that might have slowed down a little bit. But uh, and don't forget, guys, if you're into magic, you know anybody else is here at Dayton Games. Uh, Friday nights and Saturdays, I believe, we're still streaming magic. Yep. Uh, Friday night standard. Uh, Saturday is modern. Uh, they've been doing some. I think they've been doing a lot of drafts lately uh, on Friday nights and stuff. Uh, so if you're into magic, or whatever, you know, check those streams out. Chad, super knowledgeable magic player. Um, uh, looking forward to his his uh, competition season coming up you know got a gp coming up in houston we're super excited about that for him and um and he's doing pretty well yeah from what he told me yeah he's uh he, he's been preparing quite a bit for this and um uh, he's he's putting himself to be in a really good position you know with all the uh, the pre uh, preparing he's been doing for it so um super excited keep checking that out guys hopefully um We'll have some content coming out soon from uh, our main man, Justin. We'll, we'll probably try to do uh, another draft uh, and stream that as well. Yeah. We Legacies should, only yeah. or something. Yeah. Uh, I know we did one a couple weeks ago. Change it up a little bit. So keep it fresh. Draft uh, games are always fun to watch. Just they, You always get into funny situations. Yeah. 
He's like, what is that card? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, don't forget, guys, uh, make sure you like us and uh, tell your friends about the stream. Check us out on YouTube. Like us on YouTube. Uh, check out our, you know, our webpage, Facebook page, at Games and Hobbies. And uh, leave us any comments, man. Y'all need to let us know anything. Let us know. We, you know, happy to hear anything from anybody. So, uh, it's fun as always, guys. And uh, appreciate y'all joining us. And uh, see y'all next time. Take care, guys.